And now, your first alert five weather. If you're new to the area, that river produces some incredible trout fishing. So hot today, even the fish were probably sweating. Salida, where a river runs through it. Somebody grab my hip waders and tackle box. Man, that looks inviting right there. Tonight, we've got partly cloudy skies across the city. Current temperature still on the warm side at 74. Out at the airport, there's a north wind at 14 miles per hour. Live from downtown Pueblo, you are the warmest city anywhere in Colorado right now with a reading of 86. You can see it's calm downtown out at the airport. The winds out of the north sustained at 23 miles per hour. Here's your big weather story. Here's what happens over the weekend. Wanted to give you the first alert on this. This area of high pressure is going to grab some wheels and push off to the east. Now what that'll do is open the door for that monsoon feed to move right across the I-25 quarter. So a much better chance of soaking thunderstorms here both Saturday and Sunday afternoon. There's the word you've been waiting to see on my map. It is going to be cooler, especially by Sunday. Now Saturday Saturday afternoon, rain and thunderstorms up and down I-25 points east. Sunday, I think an even better chance of getting some beneficial soaking rain. Some of those thunderstorms could produce heavy rain across parts of the News 5 viewing area. Tomorrow, let's get this party started with a weak cold front. Going to see that thing slip through here early tomorrow morning. Northeasterly surface flow going to bring temperatures down by about 6 to 8 degrees tomorrow and a much better chance of landing some of those afternoon thunderstorms. Just enough water and instability in the atmosphere to pop those storms tomorrow. They will ignite over the mountains by mid afternoon, then make a run toward the I-25 corridor. Not looking for anything severe tomorrow afternoon, just your garden variety PM thunderstorms. There we go across El Paso County between five and about seven. I think that's prime time for seeing those thunderstorms here across the Pikes Peak region. Everything starts to settle down by 10 o'clock tomorrow night as the air mass continues to stabilize and cool down. Pueblo, you know it's going to be a hot day when your morning low is 70. Backed it up to 102. Missed the record by just three degrees today and in Colorado Springs, no record, but I'm telling you, when I walked out of the car into the building this afternoon, that 92 certainly got my attention. Outside right now, still really warm all along the Arkansas River with current temperatures still into the 80s. Here's how cool we get tonight, and cool is an operative word because only 66 in Pueblo, 63 the overnight low temperature in the springs tonight. Yes, it'll be hot tomorrow, but just not as hot as what we had around here today. Afternoon highs, kind of a breath of fresh air compared to those 90s and triple digits today. In Colorado Springs, here's that super seven day forecast. Best chance of seeing those thunderstorms after four o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Going to pull back to just isolated PM thunderstorms Thursday and Friday, but those opportunities ramp up big time over the weekend. Could see heavy rain, especially on Sunday. That could linger into Monday afternoon as well as we get a real strong feed of monsoon moisture. Pueblo, a steady diet of 90s for the next seven days. Summer in the city, you got to roll with the punches. Much better chance of monsoon thunderstorms over the weekend. A good soak possible Sunday afternoon into Sunday evening. I know it's a long way off. A lot can happen between now and then. Just wanted to give you the first alert on that possibility. Canyon City stay hydrated highs in the 90s for the rest of the week. A good chance of those afternoon rumblers Saturday and Sunday. Hey, wetter is better even on the weekend. We need that water to mitigate that ever present fire danger. And for Woodland Park, it's monsoon season and I've got those afternoon storms in your forecast each day. Just garden variety storms through Friday, but storm intensity is going to ramp up over the weekend. Make your outdoor plans accordingly.